Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix the memory could not be written error in Windows. Now, you might encounter this error message uh, when you're trying to launch an application, opening a web browser, or maybe you're trying to run an intensive program or maybe while playing a game. Now, there are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step, what I would suggest you to do is, I would suggest you to go ahead and repair your corrupt system files. Now, to repair your corrupt system files, you will have to open the command prompt. So, in the search, you may go ahead and type CMD or you can type command prompt. You will see the best match results. Once you have the best match, select run as administrator so that your command prompt opens as an administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may go ahead and click on yes or continue on the screen. Once you have the command prompt open, you will have to go ahead and type the command SFC space forward slash scan now and hit enter. Now with this, um, you will see uh, the progress of the SFC scan running as soon as uh, the scan is complete. Uh, you will have to go ahead and restart the computer. Once you restart the computer, check if you are able to see uh, if you are able to open the application and if you are seeing the same error message. Now, in spite of trying this step, and if you are still seeing this error, the next step what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to go ahead and perform a clean boot to disable the third party application. Now, the reason why we are doing it, it is possible that your third party applications are causing a problem. So we are going to disable all the third party application using a clean boot. To do this, in the search window, you can go ahead and type msconfig. The best match you will see the system configuration. So click on open or double click on system configuration. Under this, um, basically, um, you will see an option which says normal startup. Now, to restart the computer in clean boot, what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and click on selective startup. Once you click on selective startup, and then you will have to go to services. Under services, you will have to go ahead and click on hide all Microsoft services. So what you're do, uh, doing here is you're disabling all the third party applications, keeping only the Microsoft services active in your computer. Once this is done, um, you will have to go ahead and click on disable all. Once you click on disable all, then you may go ahead and click on startup tab. Under startup tab, click on open task manager. This will open up the task manager under the startups. Now, these are the third party applications which will run on your startup. Now, to disable this, uh, what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and select the ones and make sure the status has been set to disable. So, you may go ahead and choose the one here. So, for the demonstration, I will make disable Skype here. So, you, what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click and click on disable. So this will disable Skype on the startup. At the same time, if you want to disable anything else, you can do a right click and then click on disable. Now, once this is done, you may go ahead and close the task manager window. Click on apply and then click on OK. Now to complete the clean boot, you will have to go ahead and restart your computer. Once you restart your computer, check if you are able to open the application and ideally you should not be seeing this error message. Now, in spite of trying this step, and if you're still facing a problem, the next step, what I would suggest you to do is, I would suggest you to run a memory diagnostic check. To run the memory diagnostic check, uh, you will have to, in the search window, you will have to go ahead and type memory diagnostic check. As a best match, you will see Windows memory diagnostic, so click on it. You will see an option or a prompt which says, check your computer for memory problem. To do this, um, what you will have to do is you will have to choose the first option. With this, what will happen is your computer will restart and uh, with the restart, it will run the uh, memory diagnostic and check if you are facing any problem. So in case if there are any problem, it would show up on the screen. It will tell if there are any issues related to your memory or if it is an issue related to your RAM. It will try to uh, run the diagnostic and repair the problem by itself. Once it is done, you can uh, restart your computer. Once you restart your computer, uh, the next step, what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to check for the updates and make sure those updates are installed on your computer. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button 
and then click on system once you're on the system you will have to go and click on windows update on the windows update you uh, in case if there are any updates available you may go ahead and click on install otherwise you would see an option which says check and install the updates so basically with that you it will your computer will check if there are any available updates for your computer and once it checks for the updates you would see the list of updates you click on install now restart your computer and check if your issue has been resolved so with this uh, you should be uh, not with this you should not be seeing any error message now in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with a possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day